Welcome back to my channel everyone, Three Tips here and today is day 13 of the silver cell operation and if you look down in there the anode bowl is full of pure silver crystal that's high purity silver three nines fine or better probably uh, 1.5 kilos or so I grew it in about 13 days what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest the silver out of here but I want to talk a little bit about this first before we do that if you look down in our anode filter basket you'll see that the uh, silver that I feed in here gets dissolved by the uh, electric current that flows in there and what gets left behind there's a Dacron cloth filter in there and what gets left behind is silver cell slimes and what that is is that's just like goop uh, like mush down in there the impurities in this silver as the current flow travels through the uh, cell the current flow dissolves this silver and then the impurities get left down in the bottom of this anode filter and I can uh, save those that's going to be platinum group metals maybe a little bit of gold some other junk in there but I can save that uh, anode filter and those slimes and do a recovery on those slimes to get the gold and the platinum group metals out of there I've still got the cell running right now and we'll continue to let this run and while we're getting set up to harvest the pure silver out of the cell if you look up here you'll notice that I've got a fuse installed I do that on the last several days of the silver cell operation this is an inline automotive type 3 amp fuse and that's there in case the pure silver crystal down inside the silver cell you can see it grows and it grows towards the anode basket down there and if that crystal makes contact with the anode basket it'll short it out and burn a hole in that filter bag and then all the impurities will be released down into the silver cell and ruin the batch of silver here you can see the uh, amps have dropped off when I first started the cell it was up over one and a half amps of current flow through the cell and what happens is as those slimes built up in the uh, anode filter anode basket there it uh, interferes with the current flow through the cell and it causes the current flow to drop off here's a little information about how this cell works this is impure silver that comes from my gold refining I recover the silver from my gold refining melt it into these granules and then I use this as a feedstock in my silver cell anode basket I have an electrode bar which is a bar of pure silver with a copper wire cast into it and I connect that to the power supply and set that on top of the impure silver that's in that filter basket the current flow dissolves the silver and then the silver ions travel through the anode filter itself and uh, the copper does too the, so the copper gets dissolved as well and that's why the solution turns blue in here but you can see the anode basket is in contact with the silver nitrate electrolyte and the silver ions and the copper they travel down into the electrolyte there uh, the electrolyte is conductive so it completes a circuit between the uh, electrode bar which is positively charged and the cathode which is the stainless steel bowl and the silver travels through the electrolyte and then plates out in there as absolutely pure elemental silver metal now what happens is uh, as the cell operates I had 600 grams of pure silver dissolved in nitric acid 
in 3.5 liters of liquid. That's what the electrolyte is. There were 600 grams in there when I started. There's probably only about 400 grams left in that electrolyte because this electrolyte becomes depleted as the cell operates. It plates out on the inside of the uh, cathode there as high purity silver. The impurities get trapped in the filter and the silver ions and the copper travel down into the silver cell. The silver plates out, but the copper does not. As long as that copper is kept below 60 grams per liter concentration in the cell, then the copper will not plate out with the silver. But if it gets high enough, it will start to plate out with that silver. And then you can see I've got a connection here for the cathode and that wire goes all the way up and connects to the negative side of the power supply. I'm going to use the electrolyte in that silver cell a second time, but as I stated earlier, some of the silver has been depleted out of that electrolyte. So what I need to do is prepare some additional electrolyte. I'm going to use about 200 grams of pure silver see that number down there all right now we're going to add about 200 grams of pure silver crystal from a previous silver cell harvest it's going to add it right in here That's about 230 grams of pure silver. Now what we'll do is get our silver and add some distilled water to it. I'm gonna add about 300 milliliters or so. I've got some nitric acid back here. This is just under 200 milliliters probably 190 or something like that. I'm going to add this right on in and you'll see the silver will instantly begin to dissolve and we'll cover this up now and we're going to put this up on the heat and slowly dissolve this pure silver crystal and then we'll use that to augment the second use of our electrolyte in the silver cell. I can tell when all the available free nitric has been consumed by this reaction because there's a little bit of silver left in the beaker. All the fumes are gone and I got the solution at a boil. So now it's safe to conclude that I've got all of the available free nitric used up in this reaction. Pull the anode electrode bar out going to kill the power supply now we'll do the same thing with the negative side now we'll take the anode basket and get it out of the way just lift it right on up and put it in this container and then I just set it aside for now let's cover this up so nothing falls down in there and I've got a uh, a wrench here will drop the cathode connection cathode connection just a hose clamp with a uh, copper strap that's got our toggle bolt in it now let's pull this cover off and reveal the pure silver crystal down in our silver cell look at that
Now, let's, uh, pour off the electrolyte. As I stated earlier, we're going to be using this electrolyte a second time. So what I want to do, let's see if I can get that on the camera, just pour it into this 5 liter beaker. And I'm going to save it because I'm going to use it for the second run of the silver cell. There's our beautiful pure silver crystal. About 1.5 kilos. Now we're going to scrape the crystals down off the side of the bowl. Now we're going to transfer the pure silver into this beaker. There's a nice looking crystal. Highly unusual shape to it. Now what we'll do is start rinsing the electrolyte off of the silver. This is a bucket full of cement silver. It's got some copper in it. And we'll pour off the rinses that we're about to do using distilled water. Just throw some distilled water in here and try to get the rest of this uh, electrolyte rinsed off of our pure silver. I've rinsed it about four times with cold distilled water got some boiling distilled water here now and we'll use this to do a few more rinses Alright, this is the seventh rinse, maybe eight I think, I can't remember, but I know from experience that it takes about six of these rinses to get all the electrolyte off, so we should have it all off here, but we're going to test this now, got a little beaker, I'm going to get a little bit of this in this beaker. And now we're going to add some hydrochloric acid to this. And if we've got any silver or, uh, silver nitrate left in here, we'll see a cloud of silver chloride forming as we pour this hydrochloric acid in. And I don't see one trace of silver chloride. So it's fairly safe to conclude that we've got all of the electrolyte rinsed off of our pure silver crystal now. It's hot, boiling water. I'm gonna move this out of the way now. And we're gonna bring up a dish. 
And what we'll do is add the pure silver crystal to this dish. Now we'll take this over and set them on, on some low heat and dry this off. Well, we've got that silver drying. What I'll do is filter our electrolyte and get it ready to reboot the silver cell. I've set it twice already. I'm using the same electrolyte for a second refining. I'm adding the uh, silver nitrate solution that we just prepared. It's got about 200 grams of pure silver in it. And we're gonna go ahead and pour this through the filter now. I've got all the electrolyte pulled through the filter now. What we'll do is take it over here to a uh, fresh stainless steel bowl. We're going to add the electrolyte to this stainless bowl. The stainless bowl is the cathode for the silver cell. We're going to fill it up with electrolyte to about within a half an inch or so of the rim of the bowl. I've got a little left over and I'll save that and we'll augment the uh, electrolyte as the cell operates with that extra that I have left over. Now we're going to charge up uh, a fresh anode basket. That's a Dacron vacuum cleaner filter bag that I use as a filter. I'm going to install this now on top of the cell. It's submerged down in the electrolyte and we'll install our anode electrode bar now we've got everything uh, assembled, all fresh stuff put back together. We're going to energize the cell. And you see we got up over 2 amps of current flow. The cell has been in operation for about 30 minutes now. And if you look down in here, you can see after 30 minutes, that we're starting to form pure silver crystal in there already. See those crystals growing on the inside of that stainless steel cathode bowl? That's fair for about a half an hour. I think our pure silver crystals dried off now. I've got a cold stainless steel spoon. And I just kind of run it around in here. There's still steam coming off here that will condense on this spoon and I don't see any of that so it's a safe bet that we've got all of the uh, moisture driven off out of our pure silver crystal now all right let's get some weight on our harvest here that's on grams that's 2200 grams I'm gonna zero this out Okay, let's go ahead and add our silver from this harvest. Let's see what kind of yield we're going to get here. like we got 1.3 kilos of pure silver crystal from that harvest and we'll take it okay this will conclude the video I'd like to thank everyone for watching